Hello, I can hardly believe we've reached the end of another week. Um, Welcome to our daily devotions. I'm Pastor David Schub at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend. We're talking peace this week. And so we read from the book of 1 John, the fourth chapter, verses 7 and 8 and 18, where it says, Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. I don't know about you, but when I'm anxious, afraid, brooding, whatever, my first reaction is to pull away from other people. But I've found out over the years that often to find peace, I need to do that which is counterintuitive. Instead, I need to reach out to other people. It's often in our active love for one another that peace catches up with us. I think the writer of 1 John gives us some important perspective. Love casts out fear. It's our love for one another that we, in that love we find peace that passes all understanding. There have been so many times that I've been stewing about something and a call for me comes from a family member, a friend, a member of my Christian family, and I need to respond. At first I want to find a way around it. I just want to be left alone with my brooding. But I go. Because I know it's what love calls me to do. And in the process of being with another of my family, being bound in love, I find that there is suddenly an incredible peace in that. The love we share casts out my fears and anxieties, and I meet God once more and get a a clearer sort of vision of what life is all about. There's a story that I've always loved that's uh, in one of the uh, books that William Wright wrote wrote about various stories that help us on our Christian journey. This one's called the Magic, the, or Magic Must, Mustard Seeds. Um, it says, once a widow's son died in a tragic accident. The woman, crazy with grief, mourned her loss so deeply that no one could provide her with comfort. At last, a friend took her to the house of a holy man where she made a sobbing plea. Use your powers to bring back my son. Surely you're able by prayer or some magic to induce the Almighty to lighten my grief. The old man spoke kindly to the woman. Bring me a mustard seed from a home that has never known sorrow. I will use that seed to remove the pain from your life. Immediately the woman set out in search of the magic mustard seed. First, I'll visit the home of a wealthy family, she thought. Tragedy is less likely to strike them. Soon she approached a beautiful mansion, knocked knocked on the door, and spoke to the woman who greeted her. I'm in search of a home that has never known sorrow. Is this such a place? Please, it's vital that I know. Never known sorrow, cried the woman who had answered the door. You have come to the wrong house. As she sobbed, she began to describe all of the tragedies that had touched her family. She invited the widow into her home to explain in greater detail what had taken place. The widow remained in that home for many days, listening, caring. When she left to resume her search, the widow widow visited a modest home about a mile away. The experience was the same. Wherever she traveled from mansion to hut, she was greeted with tales of sadness and sorrow. Everyone found her a willing and careful listener. After months of travel, she became so involved with the grief of others that she forgot about her search for the magic mustard seed, never realizing that it had indeed driven the sorrow from her life. When we're hurting, our instinct is often to pull away, but peace is found as we reach out and touch one another and love. Perfect love casts out not just fear, but anxiety and uncertainty, grief, and a multitude of other struggles. And Jesus' perfect love, 
Our sins were cast out. Our brokenness healed. Jesus has shown us the way to peace. Reach out and find peace in one another. Let us pray. Lord, help us find your peace as we embrace one another. Amen. May you find peace in the love that you share as you move through the end of this week and into the next. Have a good day.